Hey, it's Josh, and I'm here with Heath. Hi. And we're in Red Deer, Alberta, the third largest city in this province after Calgary and Edmonton. It's going to be the host of the Canadian Finals Rodeo and the Canada Winter Games. But we're going to bring you along with us today on our day here. So the first thing we did in Red Deer was to actually go for a bike ride with Pursuit Adventures. This company normally focuses on skiing and snowboarding and snowshoeing adventures in the winter and hiking in the summer, but they took us on a bike ride around Waskasu Park. So as you can see, there's a lot of beautiful wilderness to check out right in Red Deer, with ponds and streams and rivers. But of course it is an actual city too, so they've got a pretty vibrant downtown. There are 11 cafes we could choose from, more than 30 restaurants, and over 75 retail businesses. So actually quite a bit of shopping, lots of interesting stuff to look at as we wandered around the downtown area. And it's all pretty concentrated, so easy to get around. In the public library, this mural it was actually made by my mother, because I'm from Red Deer. My parents still live there, so that was kind of cool. And they've got this neat little outdoor area. Area. And just a block from there on Wednesday afternoons is a farmer's market. The downtown market happens from 3.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. on Little Gates Avenue throughout the summer season. So it closes in October but starts up again in May. So we had a little treat there and then headed over for lunch at Tribe, which is a contemporary restaurant that focuses on sourcing local seasonal ingredients to create food inspired from around the world. And it's actually gay owned as well. So a lot of rich, intense flavors here. And then we went over to the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery, or MAG, to check out their collection on the culture and history of Red Deer and Central Alberta. We got to learn a lot about the history of this area and the people in it, which actually includes my brother. That's his picture under Innovators and Leaders. So I guess my family have made their mark on this city. There are over 100,000 people who live here though, so it's not like it's that small. And then we went to check out the craft beer scene in Red Deer, because yes, there is one. We got a tour of the Troubled Monk Brewery and Tap Room, which included the tasting as well. Charlie, the co-founder, took us around. He's really passionate about the brewery and the community, so it was really cool to hear from him, and they source as much as they can from within Alberta and the rest of Canada, so a very local experience. And then finally, we went for dinner at To The Lost, which is Red Deer's first true cocktail lounge. So we, of course, had some cocktails, Cocktails and also some yummy food and just basically a fantastic evening of flavor exploration. And that was our day in Red Deer. Thanks for watching and go to joshfarmer.com slash postcards to get a handwritten postcard from me from the destinations that we go to. Bye. Bye.